हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ प्री स्क्रीनिंग डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ माय लिंक्डइन फॉलोअर शेयर्ड दिस प्रॉब्लम ही फेस्ड दिस क्वेश्चन इन अ इन अ स्टार्टअप एज अ प्री स्क्रीनिंग टेस्ट सो लेट्स डिस्कस दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम एंड वी विल सॉल्व इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप ओके सो आई विल गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट इफ यू वांट यू कैन स्टॉप पॉज हियर द वीडियो एंड रीड थ्रू इट आई विल जस्ट स्क्रॉल and i will go to explain this if you don't understand that is fine i will move on to sql server after explaining this and will explain the problem again so here is the scenario there is a live production system with table orders that captures order information in real time we wish to capture data from this table inserts and deletes by leveraging a night copy of the table there are no time stamp that can be used for data processing okay so this order table has Around ten thousand transactions per day, including insert, updates, deletes. Right? The deletes are physical, so the records will no longer exist in the table. So once the record is deleted, it is deleted. You you won't be able to see those records. Now this is important thing. Every day at twelve a.m., a snapshot copy of this table is created, and it is an exact copy of the table at that time. Okay? And order ID is the order ID is the primary key for this table. okay for order table as well as order copy table okay so the requirement is write a query that will return only new inserts into order since the snapshot was taken okay so record in order but not in order copy all new deletes from order since the snapshot was taken record in order copy but not in order okay if you are confused here what is happening don't worry i will explain this in sql server with the help of tables okay the query should return the primary key and a single character insert or delete flag as i if it is an insert d if it is a delete okay so this venn diagram shows it so this is my original table order table okay and this is my order copy okay so it is saying 1 2 3 4 is a delete 1 2 3 4 is a delete because this record is present in the order copy table but not in order table right so it has got deleted and this is a new record in the order table which was not present in the copy table so this is a insert so this is how we have to get the output now one more important thing is not to use minus union merge union all we cannot use these commands minus union merge union all exist and non exist can be used it is saying okay so let's see how we can solve this i'll move on to sql server and explain quickly the problem again okay So I have created this table orders. This is my original table, and I have four records in it. You can see, right? Orders ID one, two, three, four. Now they have not given any other column information. So I have just created order date column, but it does not mean anything. We are not going to use this column for anything because this is not present in our question statement. So we will, we are going to use only order ID. Okay. So this is my original table. Let's say on twenty fifth, on twenty fifth of October or any date, these were the records. Okay. now at the end of the day i am going to take a copy of this that's what the problem is so i'll take a copy of this i will say select star into table orders underscore copy from this so it will create another table another table which is with this table orders copy so if i run this uh okay from is missing i'm going to run this okay i have the same four records so i'll just put that statement again otherwise it will show me the red lines okay so now i have two tables both are same table orders copy and table orders okay let's move on to table orders again so now new day is starting and we are going to have some delete and insert in this table okay so i'll just run this again and we have four records now on the new day some new insert and delete will happen okay let me do it that and then i will tell you what is the expected output okay so let's say on the new day once the copy is created at 12 am after that there are some new insert so let me take the insert script okay so these are the new insert now i'll just change some of them so let's say a new insert is 5 and a new insert is 6 okay let me give is 26 and 26 Okay, so there are two new inserts in this table. 
on 26 after the copy is taken. Okay, now we have six records in this table. Also, let's say one of the order is deleted. So let's delete order ID one. So delete from table orders here order underscore ID equal to one. So now let's look at the table again. So we have five records now. Now look at the both the tables again now. So I'll just take these two and run both of them. Okay, so this is my copy table, the first one, right? Okay, so this is my orders table, it has four records, right? Order ID 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And the second table is my, this was the backup we took, right? Copy tables. And this is after that, once the backup is taken, after that, this is, this is the new table, I mean the existing tables. So if you see order ID one is no more there, right? So what we want in output, in output we want that there should be two columns, order underscore ID and flag, okay? Order ID will be, so order ID one is no more. So one and flag will be D, right? Similarly, there will be two, three, four are there. So we don't want them and output. We want to we want to see only new inserts and delete. So one is deleted now, right? And five is an insert from the last copy, right? So we want five in output. We also want six in output, right? So that's what we want in the output three records. Basically, the records which have been deleted after the last copy was taken and the record which are inserted. So we will have one because this is deleted now from the order table and five, six are new. So how we will do it? Okay, I hope the question is clear. I'll just remove this one now. And let's move on to the solution. Before checking my solution, I will encourage you to try it out and see if you can do it. You can create these tables easily. I will put in the description box also that create and insert a statement. Okay, so what we can do now? So if you see in these two tables, order ID is the common key. So we can join these tables on order ID. Okay, if I do inner join, what will happen? If I do inner join, only 2, 3, 4 will come, right? Because 2, 3, 4 are the only order IDs which are common and inner join gives me the common records. But I want 1, 5, 6 in output. So if I do inner join, it won't solve the purpose. If I do left join, right, being this is the left table, then I will have 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, 5 and 6 won't be there. So again, there is a problem because I want 1, 5, 6 in output. Similarly, if I do right join, in right join also, I will get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will not get 1. But 1 is should be there in our output. So what is that? Full outer join. We can do a full outer join. So we will get everything. And then we will apply some filters to get only 1, 5 and 6. Let's do it. So I will say select star from table orders. I will say it O. Full outer join. Uh, full outer join. Table orders underscore copy right let's call it c on o dot order id equal to c dot order id okay so i have done full outer join now let's take all the columns from both the tables so i will take first o dot star and then c dot star so first i am taking all the columns from orders table and then from the copy table and I'm doing a full outer join and I'm running this now. Okay, so now you can see, since I have done a full outer join, we have six records, right? Three are the common order IDs, yes? Yeah, right? So two, three, four are there in both. So we have order date, everything is present. Now these two records are present in the orders table only. These first two columns are from orders table. So five and six are present in orders table, right? And one, one is present in the copy table, which was deleted. So which means all the orders for which there is no record in the copy table, right? Those are new inserts, right? So these records were inserted after the copy was taken. So five and six are not present here, right? 
in the copy table 5 and 6 are not present so i can say if the order id of the copy table is null right order id of copy table is null i can say those are new inserts right because those are present only in order table not in the copy table after the copy was taken these two records were inserted so i will say i will take just o dot order id and i will say c dot order underscore id comma and then i will say i'm i'm driving my flag now okay case when case when c dot order id is null then it is a insert this is a flag let me call it just i okay similarly when a record is deleted right this is again my copy table order id order date now these records were deleted so there is no record in the order table now only this record is present in the order copy and later it was deleted so i will say case when in my original order table it won't be there so i will say o dot o dot order id is null then d right that's it and end okay now another thing is we don't want all the records we want only the three records only the deletes or inserts so i will put a where condition also where c dot order underscore id is null or o dot order underscore id is null right if these these are not null then there is an inner join and i don't want those records right where both the order ids are present neither this will be null nor this will be null but i don't want those records in the output so i have put in filter at least one of them should be null so that i can only capture delete or insert not all the records okay let me run this now as flag so let's run this quickly so you see we got three records we wanted this only and order id one is delete right and 5 and 6 are insert now only thing pending is we have order ids in two different columns for for the new inserts it is in the order table for the deletes it is only in the copy table so i can use colas here i will say colas i every time forget this colas spelling thank god i got it as order underscore id right so call is what will do if this column is null it will get this so for the copy record for this deleted record it will get the order id from this and now if i run this i will get my output you see we got three records <coughs> sorry about it five six and one one is deleted right and five six are new insert so using full out or join we achieved this we did not use anything whatever they mentioned we did not use minus union merge union all we did not even use exist and non exist if you want to try out with exist and non exist try it out let me know in the comment section if you can do it but i think the best way of doing it is using full auto join using full auto join in one query itself we found out all the insert and deletes and identified the flag according to order id i hope this question helps you I will put in description box everything. Okay, do try out yourself with some other methods and let me know how it was. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.